and welcome to this Design Cuts video tutorial. Today we're looking at installing patterns in Photoshop. Now I'm using some Design Cuts assets today. I'm using the Comprehensive Paper Craft Collection and there are a number of elements in this collection including some patterns and I'll show you how you can go ahead and install patterns just like this in Photoshop. But before we begin, let's have a look at some of the issues we face when installing assets in Photoshop. There are basically three methods to install assets like patterns in Photoshop. Method one is quick and easy, but it's not robust and I don't recommend it. The problem is if you reset your preferences, you might lose the patterns from the patterns panel. Resetting your preferences is often the first suggestion people have when you're having problems with Photoshop. The problem is that quite often in resetting your preferences you might get Photoshop to work, but you might lose assets like patterns from the patterns panel. Now that's probably going to happen in any case, whichever method you use. But with method one, the problem is that the patterns are stored in your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded them to. And it's often not easy to find the patterns later on if you have to reinstall them. Method two is relatively easy and it's robust and it's probably the method that I most recommend. Again, you're likely to lose your patterns if you reset your preferences, but that's going to happen anyway. Installing your patterns again, however, is much easier. The patterns will be located in a Photoshop patterns folder inside your programs folder. It's readily accessible and it's easy to do. Now the same thing happens on the Mac. We're going to install the patterns into an easy to find folder. Now method three is not quite so easy. It does require a knowledge of your operating system because the patterns are going to be installed in a location which is typically hidden on either your Mac or your PC. It is, however, a very robust method. Of course, if you reset your preferences, you probably will lose the patterns from the patterns panel, but reinstalling them is very easy. The patterns here are going to be located in a Photoshop patterns folder inside a hidden app data folder on the PC. They'll be inside a hidden library folder on the Mac. If you're interested and if you're a bit of an operating system guru, then the locations, these hidden locations are listed in the description below so that you know where you could install your files. So now let's swing across to Photoshop on the PC, install some patterns there, and then we'll go to the Mac and see how we would do it there. Before you can install patterns either into Photoshop on the PC or the Mac, you're going to need to download the files and they'll generally download into your downloads folder. And they'll come down as a zip file. You'll double click on the zip file and on the PC, you'll click to extract all the files. Now I've already done that. On the Mac, you will double click the zip file and it will probably just automatically uninstall into a folder. So here is my paper craft collection folder. And if I navigate through that, I'll be able to find the texture patterns. And there are a lot of patterns here and each one of them would need to be installed should you wish to use them. So let's swing across to Photoshop. Inside Photoshop, I can install the patterns a couple of ways. So we're going to do method one, not one that I recommend. I'll choose Edit and then Presets and Preset Manager. The Preset Manager gives you access to a range of presets in Photoshop, one group of which is the patterns. So I'll click on the patterns. Now I have a lot of patterns already installed and to install the new patterns that we just looked at, I can click on Load. Now this is the hidden location where it is actually best to install your patterns, but let's go and see how most people are going to do it. I'll click here to locate my downloads folder and then I'll navigate to the folder in which those patterns that I just expanded are located. And let's go and get the brown paper patterns. I'll just click on that and click load and they'll be added automatically to the bottom of the patterns panel and they will be accessible then in Photoshop. And I can scroll down to view those patterns at the foot of my patterns panel. Now the other method, which is probably the most recommended method because it's easy for anybody to do, is to install the patterns into a Photoshop location. So let's go back to the patterns that I've already extracted from the file and I'm going to select a different set this time. Let's take the corrugated card patterns. I'll right click and choose copy. Now you could copy multiple sets of patterns at a time. Now I'm going back to my computer, so I'll click on computer and I'm going to click on my C drive and I'll locate my program files and then I'll select Adobe. 
and then I'll select the folder for the version of Photoshop that I happen to be using and that at the moment is Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. So I'll double click on that folder and then I'll go to Presets and then I'll go to Patterns. Here are the patterns that are installed with Photoshop. So I'll just right click and paste in the patterns that I copied across from my Downloads folder. You can see that the corrugated cardboard patterns is a sizable sort of file. Now once the patterns have been installed in this location, they're going to be a little bit safer because they're tucked away with Photoshop's own patterns. So let's see how we would install them from there. I'll go back to Photoshop and back to the Preset Manager, Edit, Presets and go to the Preset Manager, back to Patterns and back to Load. But this time I'm going to navigate to the folder that I just stored them in, which is on my computer. So I'm going back to exactly where I came from, Program Files, Adobe, choose the Photoshop version and then you'll go to Presets and then to Patterns. And there's a certain logic to that. You'll find that once you've done it a couple of times, it becomes quite easy to do. You'll select the corrugated card patterns and then click load to load them. They'll then appear again at the foot of the patterns panel. When you've done that, you can click done. Let's look now at installing patterns in Photoshop on the Mac. Now the first method is not the recommended method, but a lot of people do opt for it. So let's see how we would do it. I'll choose Edit and then Presets and Preset Manager. And I'll locate the Patterns Presets. And over here, I'm going to click Load. And I'll go to my Downloads folder where I have two of the patterns from that pattern collection here. So the first one is the Flecked Paper Patterns and I'll install them this way. I'll select the file and just click Open. These patterns are now installed at the very end of the Patterns panel and I can just click Done. So as I said, that's not the recommended method. So let's see what would be. I'll select Photoshop and quit it. And then back to Finder, I'm going to locate my Downloads folder so that I can have my file nice and ready. So it's the confetti patterns I'm going to install this time. I'm going to locate my Photoshop icon here on the dock and hold the Command key as I click on it and Finder opens at the location where Photoshop is installed on this computer. And so I'm not going to actually click this because this is the application itself, but I am going to the presets and then the patterns are going to be down here. So I'll open the patterns folder. Now I can just grab the confetti patterns here out of the downloads and drop them into this location. I'll need to type my Mac password to do that. And the confetti patterns are now installed inside a Photoshop folder. It's a nice safe place to put them. So now I can close everything down and go back to Photoshop. Now of course these patterns aren't yet installed in Photoshop. They're just stored in a better location than your Downloads folder because quite often it's tempting to empty out your Downloads folder because you've downloaded this stuff, you've done something with it. Well, with these patterns that's not where you want to leave them. So back in Photoshop, Edit, Preferences, go to the Preset Manager, go again to the Patterns Presets, click Load. This time we're going to have to navigate to that same folder. So I'll go to Applications, locate my Photoshop version, which is CC 2019, locate Presets and then Patterns. And the confetti patterns are here, so I'll select this file and click Open. So installing it into the presets panel is pretty much the same. It's just that the location where we put those patterns is different and it's a smarter place. So here are the confetti patterns now. The nice thing about installing patterns in Photoshop is that they're going to sit in that patterns dialog until you delete them or you overwrite them with other patterns or you reset your Photoshop preferences. That may also cause you to lose the patterns from that dialog, but they shouldn't be easy enough to reinstall, particularly if you use method two to install them. So let's swing back to Photoshop on the PC now and see how we would actually use patterns in Photoshop. Now when it comes to using patterns, the process is similar on the PC and on the Mac. You'll of course need a new file. So I'm going to create a brand new file here in Photoshop. 
Now you can fill an object with a pattern or you can fill a layer with a pattern. So I'm going to choose layer, new fill layer, and I'll choose pattern because this is one of the methods for doing that. When I see this dialog, I'll click OK. And the pattern that is added to this file is the very last one in the patterns panel. So you'll see that it's this one here. But we can select any pattern in the patterns panel to have it applied to this layer. And you can scale it so you could reduce the scale should you wish to do so, or you could increase it. It's generally not a really good idea to increase it, but certainly decreasing it is an option. So that's how you get access to the patterns that you've installed in Photoshop, either through the layer, new fill layer option, but you can also make a shape and fill it. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle here. Let's add a brand new layer to the document and fill it with edit and then fill. Choose patterns from the content drop down list and then go and select the pattern that you want to use. And of course, the patterns that you've installed most recently are going to be at the foot of the patterns panel. Now, the difference between applying patterns that way and applying the patterns as a fill layer is that you don't get to scale this one. So, probably the first option was the better one for using patterns here in Photoshop. I hope that you've enjoyed learning to install patterns in Photoshop. Let us know what you think in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley for Design Cuts.